गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास हमारा आज का जो टॉपिक है दैट इज़ मॉर्फोलॉजी ऑफ फ्लावरिंग प्लांट का सेकेंड पार्ट है एंड इस पार्ट में हम लोग फ्लावर का सीड के और फ्रूट्स के बारे में पढ़ेंगे सो मॉर्फोलॉजी ऑफ फ्लावर एंड सीड इज गोइंग टू स्टडी इन दिस पार्ट बिफोर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द फ्लावर we have to know the arrangement of flower on the floral axis so this arrangement of flower on the floral axis is known as the inflorence and this inflorence is of three types one is the racemose type when the older flower are found below area the below the floral axis and the new flower are developed on the upper side it is of near about eight type of racemose type of inflorence in the plant kingdom in the in the angiospermic kingdom and uh, cymose type of uh, such uh, uh, inflorence is in which the older flower are on the upper side and the new flower are found in the below area third is the special type of uh, inflorence is found in the osimum the name of this inflorence is verticillaster osimum means tulsi tulsi ke paudhe mein अलग तरह का इन्फ्लुएंस है अंजीर में भी है फिग में भी है और जैक फ्रूट में भी है आपका तो देर इज अ थ्री टाइप ऑफ इन्फ्लुएंस इन द रेसिमोस टाइप सो मेनी टाइप ऑफ द रेसिमोस टाइप ऑफ इन्फ्लुएंस लाइक स्पाइक रेसिम कोरियम पैनिकल्स अम्बल साइम टाइप कंपाउंड साइम टाइप एंड इन दिस पिक्चर यू कैन सी The older flower on the below area, below surface area, and the next plants are developed onto the top area. In the cymos, the older on the uh, on the top surface and the new on the bottom surface. This in this picture you can see the cymos in Florence and racemos in Florence. Now we have to study about the flower. What is the flower? the definition of the flower is that for flower is the modification of the shoot system so we can see it is a modified shoot so modified shoot having the floral leaves at a node near about the node there is a modified structure named the floral leaves a bright color leaves like structures is known as a flower flower have a stalk that is called the pedicel जैसे कि लीफ में जो स्टॉक था दैट स्टॉक इज नोन एज द पिटियोल उसी तरीके से फ्लावर का जो स्टॉक है इट इज नोन एज द पैटिसल विद द बेस बेस कॉल्ड द टॉरस एंड द बेस इज बेस ऑफ द फ्लावर इज नोन एज द टॉरस और द थैलेमस समटाइम्स दिस थैलेमस इज गोइंग टू डेवलप इन टू अ फ्रूट एंड सच टाइप ऑफ फ्रूट इज नोन एज द फॉल्स फ्रूट इन मेनी मे बी यूनिसेक्सुअल फ्लावर ओनली वन मेल और फीमेल पार्ट इज प्रजेंट and uh, sometimes it may be bisexual means hermaphrodite both male and female part are found in the same flower so part of the flower is basically divided into such types one is the calyx and another is the corolla this is the essential or vegetative part of the flower calyx is also known as the sepals it is always found in the green color if all the sepals are fused together to form structure is known as the gamosepals and if they are free no fusion in between the sepals or calyx it is known as the polycephalous or gamo or uh, next is the in form of the petals gamopetalous and polypetalous sepals and petalous means petals are known as the known for the corolla and uh, sepals are known for the calyx most uh, mostly the corollas are white color in the night times the polypetals so many petals are there fuse free free petals and uh, in the day blooming flowers it is in a bright and beautiful color this is the picture so is the transfer section of a typical flower you can see the sepals are here the torus or the 
this is the known as the torus or the base the pedicel sepals are found over here the petals is a is in the deep dark color and in between this area you can see male and female reproductive part the male parts are known as the anthers anthers filaments and stamens the two parts align long filament structure and then stamens are found on the top area and in the gynoecium you can see a ovary a longer style and upper part is known as the stigma it is known as the pistil also the ovules with the embryo sex is developed inside the ovary this is the typical structure you can see in this picture also the sepals the calyx whorl types corolla whorl or petals and then pericels is also there the basal part in the ovary you can see the pistils or carpel ovary is also known as the carpel single carpel is there in the flower it is a monocarpel tree bicarpel tree tricarpel tree pentacarpel tree so many carpels are present in the flower and uh, on the basis of this number is known as the monocarpel and bicarpel and uh, carpel have three parts pistil have three parts the solen part is known as the ovary then style and topmost part is known as the stigma and in the stamen it is, there is a two parts one is a long filaments and then anther lobes is present there so this is the part you can see also a gynoeciums or pistils in this flower in the central picture this is the structure of any anther lobes if we cut down in the transfer section of this anther lobes we found thus the inside a box like structures that is known as the chamber of the pollen grains and in the center parts you can see here the ovules are present inside the ovary this is the simple ovary ovules are arranged in the transverse section this is the sepals also so this is the anatomical structure of a typical flower but the flower may be what is the type of the flower what type of flower is found in such in a particular plant if flower is irregular means number of uh, petals number of uh, sepals are irregular in shape it is it may be asymmetric flower asymmetrically flower is irregular shape example is in the canna plant actinomorphic is also known as the radially symmetrical body like uh, in the example that is the mustard china rose actinomorphic in the china rose five petals is there and in the mustard the four petals is there zygomorphic is also known as the bilateral symmetry in animal kingdoms you also read and heard that this term radially symmetry and bilateral symmetry equal half bilateral symmetrically zygomorphic condition example sweet pea and bean plants sometimes it is the bracteate means bract is present in the base the brac two bracts is there bract absent e bracteate e means no u means true e means no flower may be trimerous the three petals is there four petals is there tet tetramerous or sometimes five petals is there pentamerous radial symmetrically disymmetrically asymmetrically अलग अलग तरह के फ्लावर के सिमिट्रीज हैं ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द कटिंग सरफेस ऑफ द पेटल्स ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द पोजिशन वेर इज वेर इज द वेयर द ओवरी इज सिचुएटेड द फ्लावर इज ऑफ थ्री टाइप्स हाइपोगाइनस फ्लावर पेरीगाइनस फ्लावर गाइनस मीन्स ओवरी एंड ईपीगाइनस फ्लावर इन केस ऑफ द हाइपोगाइनस द ओवरी सुपीरियर ओवरी इज ऑन द टॉप पोजिशन एंड फ्लावर हाइपोगाइनस no hypanthodium no basis is there and ovary is superior in case of this perigynous also but the hypothyp hypanthodium is present hypanthodium a bract like structure is present in case of the perigynous and hypogynous no hypanthodium but ovary is superior means other parts are developed below the ovary ovary is superior in case of the epigynous flower the ovary is inferior means ovary is totally 
totally enclosed and the all parts are on the upper surface and the ovary is found in the below area below surface and the hypanthodium is present it going to cover the entire ovary in such case the ovary is known as the inferior ovary so this is the found in the epigynous flower hypogynous perigynous and epigynous in the flower conditions floral condition you can see what is the position of the ovary on the base of the flower it is known as the hypogynous flower perigynous flower and epigynous flower three type of flower now the arrangement of sepals or petals in a uh, the in that conditions in the bad conditions velvet conditions velvet condition in the calotropis other than if the arrangement is in the twisted forms contorted in the china rose imbricates and the glomo gulmohar plants vaxillary and the pea plants so arrangement of sepals and petals in such conditions on the surface is known as the astivation hypogynous perigynous and epigynous flowers and arrangement of this you can see the different types of the astivations of the calyx and corolla what is the condition if all the petals are found in a circular manner no overlapping is there if one is overlapped another is on inner side another is the outer side so b, b b type in the c types you can see two is outside one is inner side and three is in the one inner one one area is inner one side inner one side outer next in the d, d types of this surface one outer one outer and two inner and one is 2 plus 2 plus 1 in, in the arrangement and in this fifth type of this is the totally different one petals is very large two is small and two is joined together now what is the androecium the male reproductive unit it is composed of the stamen and stamen has two parts that filaments and other conditions if stamen is sterile and does not produce the pollen is known as the staminodes sometimes kisi kisi plants mein jo stamen se wo steriles hain produce to ho rahe hain lekin pollen grain nahi bana rahe hain example agar aap iska dekhte hain to rose ke plant mein staminode inko bolte hain ki the stamen is totally sterile no use of such type of stamens and does not produce any pollen grain stamens is there but no pollen grains there स्टेमिन अटैच टू द पेटल्स इट इज नोन एज द ई पी पेटेलस अगर स्टेमिन्स जो है वो पेटल से जुड़ जाते हैं इट इज कंडीशन इज नोन एज द ई पी पेटेलस स्टेमिन अटैच होते हैं पेरियंस से यानी कि उसके घेरे से हैं सेपल्स के साथ में है तो ई पी पेटेलस है पेटल्स एंड सेपल्स के साथ ई पी सेफेलस और ई पी पेटेलस कंडीशन है स्टेमिन्स फ्री फ्राम वन अनदर एक दूसरे से बिल्कुल अलग हैं और बिल्कुल ही एकदम अलग हैं सारे वर्ड्स इट इज नोन एज द कंडीशन इज नोन एज द पॉलियड्रस कंडीशन सच टर्मिनोलॉजी इज यूज इन द टू स्टडी द फ्लावर पार्ट्स बेस्ड ऑन द यूनियन द स्टेमेंस आर अगर उनका यूनिटी देखें स्टेमेंस का ये बोथ यूनिटी अगर जुड़े हुए हैं दो यूनाइट हैं दोनों जुड़े हैं ऑल स्टेमिन्स आर फ्यूज इन टू अ सिंगल बंडल अ सिंगल बंडल इज फाउंड देयर एग्जाम्पल चाइना रोज मोनो अडाल्फस कंडीशन फ्यूज इन टू टू सेपरेट बंडल्स टू फ्यूज हैं ब लेकिन दो बंडल्स में हैं जैसे अरेंजमेंट उनका एक जैसा नहीं है नाइन प्लस वन का अरेंजमेंट है टू 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 प्लस टू का अरेंजमेंट है अलग अलग है डाई अडल्फस कंडीशन है पॉली अडल्फस कंडीशन फ्यूज इन टू मोर देन टू बंडल्स अगर दो से ज़्यादा बंडल्स में फ्यूज हैं तो उस कंडीशन में होता है एंड इट इज मोस्टली फाउंड इन द सीट्रस प्लांट्स this is the structure of a pistil and the stamen a filament is there pollen and anther lobes is there and ovary and ovules is there pollen tube is there the stylen the upper part is known as the stigma now come to the gynoecium gynoecium is the female reproductive part of any flower female reproductive world composed of one or more carpels sometimes one or more carpels is present and each carpel has three parts one is the style basal part is ovary then is style and then is stigma carpel if more than one and fuse if there is more carpels and it is fused 
apocarpus example rose and lotus if all carpels are fused then the ovary is known as the the gynoecium is known as the syncarpus so apocarpus and syncarpus if carpels more than one and free apocarpus and if or carpels are fused that is known as the syncarpus in the example of the syncarpus is tomato and mustard if we want to study in form of a floral formula of any plant or flower the following symbols is used flower is bracteate br is used calyx for k corolla for c perianth for p a means androecium capital g means gynoecium if there is a line is found below the g ovary is superior and in the upper surface ovary ovary is inferior for male there is a single line and upper a line marks male for female there is a cross section below the circle bisexual if both symbols are joined together the flower is actinomorphic flower is zygomorphic a percentage is sign the fusion figure with the bracts if it is known as the fusion and line draw over the symbol of any floral parts it is known as the adhesions means all the parts are joined together in the next uh, topic uh, we will use to study the arrangement the fusion of the all ovules through the wall of this ovary is known as the placentation so placenta is that tissue by which the ovules attach to ovary wall and on the basis of this joining this association there is a five basic or main type of the placentation one is the marginal axial parietal basal and free central you can see here the placentation one picture is of the longitudinal section of ovary and another picture shows the transfer section in the axial placentation if we are going to cut any ovary in the longitudinal parts or the transfer parts you can see the the ovules are present on the axis axial it is free no attachment free central parietal on the outer surface marginal on the margin of this ovary wall basal just base found on the just base and sometimes apical also on the apex areas also so this is the arrangement of the ovules in the ovary placentation this is also a colorful picture of this marginal placentation on the marginal the ovule is present transverse section you can see it is an axial presentation then parietal presentation surface on the ovary wall you can see here the apical areas the basal areas apex areas upper side ap apical basal side attached it is a basal and this is the on the sometimes in form in the on the margins all the margins so many ovules are there is the aminous presentations and it is a free central central me free has sari ovules central me free hai. our next uh, topic is after the maturing of this ripened ovary the ripened ovary is known as the fruit the definition of fruit is the ripened ovary mature or ripened ovary the fruit formed without fertilization is called the parthenocarpic sometimes fruit are fruits are formed without the process of the fertilization for example in the banana plants you can see the fruits are developed before the opening of the flower the fruit forms without fertilization is called the parthenocarpic fruit the true fruits uh, is it is also known as the false fruit in case of the true fruit the pericarp having the three zones means all the fruits have the three zones outer carp outer bahar ka chilka outer epicarp middle area is mesocarp and inner area is endocarp on the basis of this carp the types of fruits are the in form of the droop droop like mango coconut this is the parthenocarpic fruits for example apples pears false fruit of development of fruit other than part of the ovary also in the case of the mango you can see outer chilka is epicarp we used to eat the mesocarp the fleshy area the seed is there endocarp and seed is there in the coconuts we used to eat the 
seed and endocarp. Here is also types of fruits. Apple is a false fruit. This picture you can see the apple, exocarp, mesocarp, endocarp and seed is there. The ovary is found inside the area and all the thalamus are confined a circle like a structure to form a false fruit. Some simple fruits is also here. Bindi, okra, bindi, tomato and sweet peas also a uh, type of the simple fruits, very simple fruits, very simple type of seed arrangement. And sometimes fruits are very complicated, aggregative fruits. For example, custard apple. Custard apple you can find here, a very complex structure of this fruit. And sometimes composite also, a ratchet is there and fruits is there in the pineapple plant. So, there is three types of fruits, simple fruit, aggregate fruit and composite fruit. Now, after the fertilization, the ovules are converted into the seed. And seed have two parts. One, the outer covering is known as the seed coat and inside there is an embryo. So, seed coat have the two, two layers. Each and every seed have a two uh, seed coat and seed coat have the two layer. The outer layer is known as the testa and the inner layer is known as the tegmen. So, testa and tegmen are the two layers of the seed. An embryo consists an embryonic axis is there with the radicals and plumules. Embryo have two structure that is radical and plumule and we have sometimes one cot and two cotyledons for the nourishment of the developing embryo. So, endosperm is a nutritive tissue formed after the process of the double fertilization. Then one cot is found in the monocot seed and two cot in the dicot seed. This is the structure of a dicot seed is a gram and P. You can see seed coat. Then plumule is also here rep, uh, responsible to develop the leaf and suit. And then hypocotyl radical axis is there uh, and below there there is an hilum. The seed is attached and the micropyle layers jahan se pollen tube enter karti hai, that area is the micropyle area and two cotyledons is also here. So, this is the basic structure of a dicot seed. In the monocot seed, it is the uh, structure of a mere seed. In the first uh, structure, you can see in this middle area, this is the embryo, a very large endosperm is there for this nourishment. And uh, in the bigger picture, you can see the seed coat and fruit wall. Alinar uh, layer is also there. And uh, in the deep area, you can see scutellum, chiloptile, spremule, radical and colorizer. So, roots are developed from the colorizer and leaves and the stem is developed through the chiloptile. So, because it is a monocot plant, monocot seed. After that, uh, there is a description is in your practical syllabus actually. But this year, it is not in your course. But this is the Allium sepa. Allium sepa is the onion plant. You also saw this plant. This is the inflorence or flowers. And this is the main flower, a flower, simple flower of the onion. Allium sepa. If we are going to study the entire structure, the entire ovary, the transfer section of the ovary, there is a placenta, ovule, locules is there, ovary wall is there, allium sepa. It is coming under the family Liliaceae family. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There is a 6 anthers. This is the floral diagrams. Second is the solanum nigrum. So it is coming from the family Solanaceae family, a potato family. It is solanum nigrum. Makoi is called Makoi ka plant. Hai. A flower is there, typical flower is there. And uh, what type of the LS of flower? You can see the ovary, the petals, the sepals is also here. And uh, in the floral descriptions, you can see the transfer section of ovary. The epipetalous flowers or the petals are fused together. One single stamens is there. And floral diagrams. Floral diagrams. In the floral diagrams, the outer areas is showing the perianth. Then after that, the calyx. After that, the corollas. And in the center, you can see the ovary is there. This is the sweet pea plant, Bisamsa typum. It is from the family Fabiaceae family. 
in the in this uh, flower this flower is totally compact no cross pollination is found in this such type of plant the ovary is found in between this the style is also there the there is a two bundles of the stamens is there one means tidal first condition uh, nine is in form of the bundle and one is the separate so nine plus one arrangement is there corolla is totally open one large stand is known as the standard two wings is there and two keels is there this is the prism set i one floral formula and the pistol sun stamen is also here so this chapter is now closed completed and thank you and have a nice day